Hello friends, today I am going to explain how to convert a stable multi vibrator to three phase PLC controller. Okay, I have I want to explain mainly what is a stable multi vibrator, how to convert a stable multi vibrator to three phase signal generator, and the various type of feedback taken to to the gates okay and convert to the four terminal PLC controller to three terminal PLC controller okay now I am going to explain what is a stable multi vibrator a stable multi vibrator consists of two stage of amplifier okay the two stage of connected in a positive feedback loop by two by two capacitor resistor coupling networks okay the amplifying elements may be transistor MOSFETs or operational amplifiers okay it is a cross coupled transistor switching circuit that has no stable output states as it changes from one state to the uh, another state okay look at this here look at this two stage amplifier here two MOSFETs and a feedback compressor resistor capacitor here the resistor capacitors okay these are the two stage a stable multi vibrator it has no stable state okay now cross in a stable multi vibrator the feedbacks are cross coupled look at this the gate supply is taken through the from the train of the first MOSFET through the resistor and the second first gate supply is taken to the cross coupled to the second train of the MOSFET so that means cross coupled okay how to it can how to convert the phase signal generator here look at this if you add another one stage of amplifier and then it is generated three phase signal with the same phase difference so it can be used as a PLDC motor controller here three a stable multi vibrator has two stages for the three phase signal generator it has three stages but the feedbacks are cross coupled okay look at this this is the difference between the a stable and the three phase signal generator okay when you connected three MOSFET with a half fridge the output of the controller has four terminal and it and required start point of the motor if you have three MOSFET for the uh, PLDC controller it required four terminals that means motor terminal 3 and another one start terminal start point terminal is required okay when you connect it to the complementary MOSFET fair it means when the three MOSFETs Existing MOSFETs are N type and the complement MOSFETs are P type is connected. It will act as a full fridge amplifier and it had not required the start terminals and it only three terminals is enough for run the motor. Okay. Now here various type of feedback taken to the gate. Method one. Here the first method resistance and diodes are used for feedback component. Here the resistor and the diode and the feedback is taken to the middle of the two components to the gate. Okay, this is the first method. In the second method, diode and capacitors are used. Okay, here look at this. The diode and the capacitors and the gate supplies in the middle taken to the gate okay from the middle okay here and third method here I am using a resistor and a capacitor 
and the resistor, capacitor, and feedback tack onto the gate. Okay, these are the three methods of feedback components used for the PLDC motor controller. Okay, now I am going to making a PLDC controller using the second method diode and capacitor and test the motor with the controller. Okay. Here I am using the second method. So here what is the second method? Diode and the capacitor sir. Diode IN4007 and the MOSFET IRF 44N and here capacitor 103J ceramic capacitors. Okay. Here look at this. Here, this is a 103 ceramic capacitor IRF44N and the diode three diodes are connected. Okay, here these are the resistance and LED is used for the monitoring circuit, and here another one three resistors are connected to the gate is used for regulate the speed. Here 100k potentiometer is used for the regulate the speed. Okay. Now I'm going to test the motor. Now I am going to start the motor. Look at this. The motor is started. Voltage 5 volt given and the current 0.17 amps taken. Okay. Here motor leads and here this is the star point okay here I am using the four wire system okay I am going to reduce the speed once again I increase the speed Now I am going to stop the motor. Here I am using the homemade PLDC motor. 
12 pole stator and 16 pole rotor okay okay friends